Hello, my name is Castudis and today we will be learning how to fix 404 page not found error on WordPress. Let's begin by understanding the error code itself. In short, error 404 means that the web page you were trying to open wasn't found by your browser. Depending on what browser you're using, the error message might look a bit different. Some websites even have their own custom 404 page set up. Regardless of how the error page looks like, here are some of the most common causes for it. A mistyped URL, an incorrectly typed web page address is really all that you need to trigger the error code 404. This is super important to note if you ever decide to move content to a new post and remove the old one, as without setting up a proper redirect, all users that will visit the old post will be greeted with the missing page error. No worries though, as I will go over the process of setting up a redirect later in this video. Caching issues. It might be the case that your browser has cached the web page you're trying to visit while it was not yet available. To sort this one out, all you have to do is clear your browser's cache. An issue with your domain name server or DNS. This can be especially true for recently registered domain names. Usually this one resolves itself automatically, just give it some time. WordPress compatibility issues. There are cases where issues with the plugins or the theme that you're using affect the way WordPress generates URLs and permalinks for your website. I will show you how to sort this one out as well. Having the most common causes out of the way, I'd like to point out that the error code 404 is not exclusive to WordPress websites. This error can pop up regardless of the platform the website has been built on. The good news is that if you're using WordPress, there are a ton of ways you can go about fixing the issue. So let's dive in. Since we will be making some changes to your WordPress configuration, it's generally a good idea to make backups. You can find some really nice tutorials on how you can do this in the description below. Although since I will be here to help you out, I'm sure that everything will go well. Now the first thing I recommend doing when you encounter the page not found error is resetting your permalinks. This can be done in a couple of ways. If you are still able to access your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate to settings and click on permalinks. Once you're in, note what permalink structure your website is using right now. To reset your permalinks, temporarily switch your structure to something else. In my case, I will be choosing plain and hit save changes. The page will reload and now you can reapply the permalink structure you were using previously. Try browsing your website now and check if this has solved your problem. If not, no worries, let's try some other solutions. Your permalink structure can also be edited from one of your website's configuration files called htaccess. Editing this file is the go-to way of sorting out the 404 error if it's preventing you from accessing your WordPress admin dashboard. What I recommend doing is renaming it to something along the lines of htaccess underscore old and making a copy of it, then renaming the copy of the file to how it was named originally. Let's open this new htaccess file and delete everything that's inside of it. We are going to replace the potentially faulty code that was there with the default HT access configuration which you will be able to find in the description of this video. Save the updated file and try visiting your WordPress website now. The 404 error should be gone, although you should still remember to reconfigure your WordPress permalink structure to what it was before. The last solution is related to your WordPress themes and plugins. Here I recommend going through each one of your plugins and disabling them one by one while refreshing your website to see which plugin might be the culprit of the missing page error. You can also do this by navigating to your WordPress plugin directory via the file manager or your FTP client. Here you should go to the public HTML, WP-content and plugins. Renaming individual plugin directories is all you need to do to disable the corresponding plugin. My recommendation is to add something along the lines of disabled next to the plugin's file name. Temporarily switching your theme to the default WordPress one either from your WordPress dashboard or applying the same method of file renaming is also a good idea to rule out if the error is caused by your theme. What should you do if your visitors get the 404 error simply because the content of your page has been moved to a new location? The correct answer is to set up a redirect and here are a few ways on how you can do that. The first one is by using the help of a plugin. I found the one called Redirection to be quite useful. Once you install it, go to Tools and select Redirection. Here, after completing the short setup process, in the source field, paste the URL that gives you the 404 error, and as for the target URL, you guessed it, paste the URL of the page where you moved your website's content to. 
The second option for creating the redirect is to edit your HT access file. After opening it up, the line of code you would need to add to set up the redirect is redirect 301 with your old URL filed by the new one. Were you able to sort out your 404 issue? Maybe you have some tips and tricks you would like to share. I'd love to see them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, you can let me know by hitting the like button. Consider subscribing to Hostinger Academy if web hosting related content is exactly what you're looking for. Until next time, best of luck in your online journey.